Labrador Retriever, or simply Lab, is a sweet-faced, medium to large-sized dog that is known for its outgoing and affectionate personality. These dogs were both bred to be loving companions as well as useful working dogs. Athletic and social, Labs will indeed make an excellent choice for people with an active lifestyle. So, if you're wondering whether this breed is perfect for you or not, make sure to watch until the end, because for today, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Labrador Retriever. Labrador Retrievers were originally used to help fishermen in hauling nets, fetching ropes, and retrieving fish in the chilly North Atlantic. They have a waterproof coat that comes in various colors, including black, yellow, and chocolate. Their webbed feet allows them to effortlessly swim through the water, making them excellent swimmers. Today, labs are popular for being loving family companions who also make excellent buddies for various activities. Later, as we go through this video, we'll get to know more about these energetic dogs. Hey there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover! If you're looking for a channel that features dog-related stuff every day, then you're on the right track, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Labrador Retriever. So let's get started right away. Number 1. Labrador Retrievers Need Plenty of Physical Stimulation First things first, do not get a Labrador Retriever if you're a laid-back person. Labs aren't suited for families who prefer to spend most of their time at home. While they do enjoy laying with you on the couch, labs need plenty of exercise every day to prevent them from becoming bored. On average, you need to walk them two to three times a day to burn off their energy, which means that a small yard is not enough to keep them tired. As mentioned earlier, these dogs are excellent swimmers. Therefore, if you live in an area with a nearby beach, lake, or pool, make sure to take your lab out there. Without sufficient physical stimulation, these dogs may develop unwanted behaviors, such as excessive barking, chewing, digging, and scratching as a way to release their pent-up energies. So, unless you want to come back to your home with destroyed furniture, make sure that your lab receives sufficient exercise. However, if you are not confident that you'll be able to meet their exercise needs, then you might need to reconsider having this breed. Number 2. Labrador Retrievers Can Be Clumsy At Times Labs can sometimes be hyperactive and clumsy. Their size is no joke, and they also have strong bodies, including tails, that can easily knock off a decoration or an ornament in your home. Therefore, those expensive things that you have in your home should be put somewhere out of their reach. Although they won't intentionally cause harm to children and elders, when labs get too excited, they may accidentally knock them down, especially during playtime. Therefore, you will need to closely supervise their interaction with kids just to ensure that no accidents will happen. Number 3. Labrador Retrievers shed year-round. Labs shed a fair amount of hair, so if you or another family member suffers from allergies, then you should not get this breed. The hair that these dogs shed gets everywhere, including your clothes, bed, sofa, carpet, and other furnishings. That said, a high-quality vacuum will be your best friend. If you're looking for equipment that will help greatly reduce the amount of loose fur that falls off the floor, we got you! Roborock S7 Max V Ultra is a vacuum robot with an empty wash fill dock that takes floor cleaning automation to a whole new level. The empty wash fill dock is Roborock's most advanced dock to date, unleashing a world of new conveniences for those that demand the cleanest of floors. It is self-washing, self-refilling, self-cleaning, and self-emptying. Indeed, you can clean more while doing less. If you want to know more about Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, click the link on the description below. Number 4. Labrador Retrievers Need Plenty of Time and Attention 
Since labs are the happiest when they get included in family activities, it only means that they will need plenty of time and attention from their humans. Even after playing outside, they'd be happy to lay with you on the couch as soon as you get back and receive some pets and cuddles. If you don't give them enough attention, they'll surely make a way to call for it. And if you leave them alone for long periods of time and they feel unloved, they will develop separation anxiety which can lead to them developing destructive behaviors. With that said, if you are looking for a more independent breed, then you should not get a Labrador Retriever. And we're already halfway through this video. How do you feel about Labrador Retrievers so far? Do you think they fit your home? Let us know your thoughts later on because for now, we have a few more things to talk about these popular dogs. So let's continue. Number 5. Labrador Retrievers Need Regular Veterinary Checkups While labs are generally considered as healthy dogs, they may still be prone to several genetic conditions that you should know, especially if you're considering this breed. Some of these health problems include hip and elbow dysplasia, eye problems, heart complications, and epilepsy. These dogs are also prone to getting overweight and obese, which is why it is important that they have the right amount of diet and exercise. With that said, to ensure that you get a healthy dog, make sure to only purchase from a reputable breeder. It is just as important that your dog receives regular veterinary checkups once or twice a year. Number 6. Training is a necessity for Labrador Retrievers In order for a Labrador Retriever to grow into a well-behaved dog, he must receive proper training and early socialization at a young age. These dogs need an owner who can establish his role as the leader of the pack. Otherwise, they will not hesitate to be the boss of the household, which can be a problem since they won't listen to you anymore. With that said, if you're not confident of being a leader, then this breed might not be for you. Number 7. Labrador Retrievers Are Not Ideal Guard Dogs If you're looking for a dog that will patrol your home and protect you and your family from dangers, then you should not get a Labrador Retriever. These dogs are very social and friendly, even towards strangers. If they see an intruder approaching your home, they will bark, but that bark will most likely be a greeting towards the person. That said, this breed does not make the best deterrent to intruders. They do, however, make a great choice if you're looking for a dog that can help you make new friends. Number 8. Labrador Retrievers Love to Get Dirty these dogs aren't afraid to roll into mud, stagnant puddles, or anything they find fun. And if you have a beautifully and carefully grown flower beds, you might need to keep them securely fenced, as labs might happily trample on them if they are given the chance. True, all dogs are different from each other, but most labs happen to have such a behavior. Therefore, if you're looking for a dog that likes to keep himself clean, you might be better off with a Basenji or an American Hairless Terrier. Overall, Labrador Retrievers make a great choice for a family with an active lifestyle and those who do not mind having a furry friend that will follow them wherever they go. So long as they are properly raised, Labs will be loving and hardworking companions. Perhaps this is the very reason why they became the most popular dog breed according to the American Kennel Club. However, if you have a different kind of lifestyle, then you might be better off with another dog breed. And there you have it, the 8 reasons why you should not get a Labrador Retriever. After watching this video, do you think you have what it takes to properly raise this breed? or you think this is not the best option for you, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoy today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.